Okay, so I'd uh, do a quick update. This is uh, the end of my EV journey. It's been two and a half years now running uh, an EV and uh, it's been good, but uh, it's time to come to an end. I'll just flip around and see the car. There we go, that'll make you dizzy. Right, there we go. I've had this car over two years. Before that, I had a Nissan Leaf for six months. And uh, the car, I can't fault it. It's been absolutely fantastic. I come in, I plug in at the rear there, to the home charger. Cable goes round along the hedge. Goes into a seven kilowatt charger box. So it charges off the mains overnight or it charges off the solar during the day if we have sun in Wales. And uh, just pull up some statistics here. Yeah, so by th at the end of last month, I haven't worked out for this month yet, but at the end of last month, this car, I'd driven 21,744 miles in the car. And if I'd paid for every penny of electricity that, that had gone into it, it would have cost me 343 pound 59 pence. So that's less than 350 pound for just shy of 22,000 miles. The only thing I've done to it is put a 12 volt battery on it that costs like 60 quid or something. Um, put new tires on it. It's done 50,000 miles. It's still on the original brakes because of the regen. You hardly use the brakes. And you just literally unplug it, open it up, foot on the brake, start and drive. It's been great. Its range is uh, in the summer, 100, over 140 miles, and in the winter, around about 120 miles. And with the, the Korean cars, the, uh, the Hyundai's and the Kia's, what it says on the tin is what you get. Not like other manufacturers, they don't try and fob you off with stuff. If they say it's got 140 miles, you're going to get 140 miles out of it. Um, using it like this, it's been fantastic. Plug in overnight, no need to waste time in petrol stations. Get up in the morning, full tank of juice, off you go, come home, plug in, recharge, plug in, recharge, repeat. It just works. Where it falls down, where it doesn't work with me now. I've, uh, I've recently retired and my lifestyle has changed. I'm not driving to Ellesmere Port to pick up a truck anymore. I'm not driving to Chester to pick up a truck anymore. I, uh, the daughter's passed a driving test. We, uh, I don't need to, no more dad's taxi running the daughter around or very rarely. So I'm not doing these short trips, the things that EVs are ideal for. What I'm doing now is we're going out for days and we're driving you know two three hundred mile in the day we're doing a tour of north wales and this does short tours of north wales but we just want to extend that little bit further and the charging infrastructure as you probably heard is complete pants the other week i looked in north wales to see what char the charger states were on the um uh, on one of the charging apps and out of 16 rapid charges in North Wales, two of them were working. The rest have either been removed or out of order. And uh, it's just not good enough. Two and a half years ago, I could drive a week without seeing another EV in North Wales. Now, I can't even drive seven miles to Abergelly without passing an EV. So the uptake on these cars is probably four times what it was when I started driving and um and the uptake on the charges the way the the uh the infrastructure works where they all used to work and there weren't quite so many now there's only a few more and none of them work so for us to go for a little day out and uh not have to get to the uh the limit of our destination not be able to find a charger that's working and have to come home rather than get into our limit 
off charge or just not even worrying about it filling up with fuel and coming home because there's loads of petrol stations still can you hear the cat mewing what are you doing you're looking for mice again so um, yeah it's just convenient the um, this is convenient for the short trips and uh, it's not what I'm doing anymore I'm not going anywhere and when I do I'm doing two three hundred miles and I'm not willing to pay ten thousand pound more for a tesla to get the extra range that i'd need to do that uh no, i've got no confidence in the government improving the infrastructure to a level that's going to be usable i uh it's obviously not the future for anybody if you can't park off road like we can and um, charge overnight it's not worth getting an electric car what I was doing it was perfect for what I'm doing now it's not perfect for right I'm uh, I'm going to have to call it a day at that because I've got to go and pick up this other car and uh, my insurance on that runs out in one hour so uh, if you like this content if you find it's useful tell us what your experiences are of EVs and give us a thumbs up subscribe cost nothing helps the channel I'd be interested to know what your thoughts are on uh, on EVs and how well you're getting on with them. See you next time.